And this is the ESA Open Cup, and today's a very special Open Cup. This is a one-day cup, but today we have a bunch of unlocks. We have the Le Plonger, the Winger, the Short Circuit. There's a bunch of new weapons involved, but as I say that, we are going to be going live. So hello, my name is Hayden. Welcome to Vanilla TV. This is the ESA Open Cup uh, on CP Process. Joining me today is ADOC, ADOC Technic. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at Death right now. Death was first on the point. He's actually one man just standing all alone by himself. The soul is gonna end up contesting onto him. He actually eats a quite amount of damage, but there is a Nyx to save him now. There's Jose also taking a kill onto Ogina, and Jose is just gonna push in onto the left hand side. He does provide a lot of pressure. Oh, he has the medic now in ice. Oh, he's gonna go for the medic. He's gonna be able to take him out. No! Oh, such a nice bait there. They baited him onto the point with the stick is but now they're just gonna jump up and try to do something dust now he's going to retreat with this point death is gonna take one out and they're just going back there's a offense oh there's an offensive sniper which was deployed there but that is just not going to be enough the sniper is gonna go down any second or is he he still has 39 hp left and now he's gonna get boosted so dusty is gonna get boosted onto the point but they lost it surely now 425 this is going to take the first minute but let's see if ludus is gonna re-engage onto that one we have rapaparo the sniper just <laughs> making his way towards the computer room and he might never t get a shot or two let's see what's gonna happen there yeah we did actually see dust to get his uber force out of him a little bit ago so that did actually prevent any kind of push that they're gonna be able to make back in and now that's gonna allow dicker to have that 100 percent uber charge using that stock medigun as well and we're gonna be seeing exactly where they want to push from it does look like they're gonna be able to rotate around through pc luton jose does actually get taken down as well with that 100 percent Quick fix Uber from Dusty, it could be a little bit um, of a difficult push, but again, invulnerability always beats a little bit more health. But Dusty still hasn't used it, and Decker got forced very early right now. Dusty's going to be uh, using it a lot later, and that's actually going to allow uh, Dusty to be able to do uh, quite a bit of work. Smiley face does actually go down, uh, but Sammy Dusty and Santu and Luton, Karuth does actually go down as well. So just two players up uh, for the blue team right now, just Jose up right now, and it does actually look uh, like the red team should be able to push him right now. Yeah, and Luther said he's just getting pressured so hard. They can't even uh, seem to defend the last one. The last one is going to get engaged. And then we have the point uh, taken out. So that is going to be 1 nil for 425. And I don't think Luther said was really ready for that much of a pressure. Now let's see what the uh, second um, uh, the uh, second round is going to bring us now. That both teams are going to go at it uh, versus each other in the middle of the rollout. Now Death is just going to take the pot. Yes, he goes to the switch. He actually bounces pretty nicely. Both teams are very. Um, very punctual onto the point there, Smiley Face is dropping dangerously low and going back, rotating around through the PC, wants to get a health pack and Death actually gets same and same is gonna, Sammy sorry, he's gonna go down but now Nyx is going to be super aggressive under the uh, crazy jumps up and he's gonna go down, he's gonna go for the scout, the scout is just rotating around him, is he gonna be able to take him out as he is just jumping around like a crazed madman, does not eat one single bullet, and there is Dicker, old Dicker just dropping so dangerously low, actually gets off a super so, so that is going to give him a 100% uber and that is also gonna give them the point surely but they're still contesting yang pay is gonna take one out so we have nix now rotating around the point he's gonna jump off to the point eats a pipe to the face does not want to get any more of that and yang pay they're still contesting they are still contesting it is not over the response are up yet death is just gonna roll out to the middle the middle point is gonna be slowly but surely taken out then both ubers now being popped deployed into the middle santu oh santu just gets the medic out of his way that's a nice decision to make it oh look at that ognia goes down to the sniper and sam oh sam jumps in onto the medic but he gets taken out he could not finish him off so Dicker just surviving for the second time there is a good winger kill coming down onto Santo and oh so much going on but in the end Lutuset has to give up to that one nice air shot there Nix doing a fantastic job and they might even go for the last point capture the, uh, the respawns are up so let's find out yeah, we did actually see Dusty switching on over that stock medigun right there, which does, uh, was kind of very unexpected from 425. They didn't really expect them to be able to counter their invincibility, and they thought they were still going to be running Chris Creek. But with these new unlocks, it just kind of throw off your game a bit. It's kind of going against the laws of physics, and everything you already know is completely wrong now. And with about 95% Uber, Dick is probably going to be looking to push him with his team right now. Uh, Povelitily, the heavy is, uh, the heavy from 425 has also been switched on over to the heavy. So now we're gonna be seeing Dicker. Dicker being juggled around a lot, not really being able to do anything. He does get taken out. Death gets taken out as well. Uh, Yang Pai takes down Dusty, and a lot of players have been exchanged from both teams. Just Yang Pai and Pavelity Ogunia. 
uh, is alive. He does get taken down. It's just Yang Pai up right now, trying to get him to this last point. He's been pressured by Sammy and Rapper Rapper Rapper. So we're going to be seeing what he can try to get done. He is doing some very nice dodging right now, jumping over the soldier's head, and he's still alive. He's getting pistoled, but he does get taken down very last minute. Uh, but that was some very nice dodging plays right now. And Dick is going to be able to respawn a little bit before Dusty. Uh, but we do actually see a crit streak from Dickers. I want to see exactly how this is going to work. We're going to be waiting for the respawn from 425, and it does look like 425 should be able to def uh, to defend second. Yeah, they might be. They, they want to go aggressive right now. Loser said, just waiting it out. They are scared of the back caps, and you should be, really, because back caps are one of the most um, very... Well, it is it is hard to witness a back cap, but uh, they do not want to fall for that one. Every Both the teams are getting healed up. Dicker actually having 100% uber, so the uh, defensive uber advantage is still there. We can now see... Oh, a lot of kills being made. The Chris Creek push is going to come out. So there we have Team 425. They're just going to go in onto the point and dominating it. Well, no sweat bro whatsoever they just rushed in took the point and went back out victorious 2-0 for 425 and Lucha said they have to come up with something yeah, I mean, it, it just seems like Lucha said, uh, they, they don't have any opportunity to be able to do anything very effective. And the mid-fights are really what's kind of deciding these games so far. So let's go ahead and see how this mid-fight goes out. This is the f uh, third mid-fight, Lucha set versus 425. We're going to see Sammy trying to jump up top, trying to do a little bit of damage. Omnia is taking down Santi very quickly. Sammy ta gets taken down by Enkers, and Dusty has been pressured out of choke right now. We do have a sniper on mid, and it doesn't seem like anything's coming out of that. Yang Pai takes down Luton and Jose, and we do actually see a soldier coming out through PC, or Sewage, sorry, and we're going to be seeing what happens through that. Dusty using that stock medigun. Not sure what Dick is on. It does believe, I do believe, uh, yeah, Dicker is also on stock medigun. So we're going to be seeing exactly what comes out of this. A little bit of an advantage from Dicker, but it shouldn't be too much. We're going to see that 100% ready. Three players down for Lutu. So, so let's see what happens. Jose switching on over to the heavy. We're going to be seeing Dicker just going straight in with his team. Uber is popped, trying to get to that point. We're going to see a heavy trying to defend it, but that's probably not going to be enough. A lot of spam going on to that. Santu and Rapper 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 are the only ones alive right now, and it does seem like Dicker and the rest of 425 are going to be able to take the third round. Wow, that was just so fast. So you could see now in the middle, once they jumped in, there was no coming back from that. The medic just following around his pocket everywhere. He was everywhere, and that last point push was really the key to that. And we can already see right now the middle point. The... Uh, the middle point doesn't really get contested. 425 just walks in, and Lutu said gets annihilated, or they walk back. So Lutu said either they have to play a bit more heavy in the middle so they get a little bit more tankiness, or they gotta come up with something else because the team fight potential and the deathmatch potential from 425 is pretty sick. And we are going to be seeing uh, the half is over now. And of course, these halves are really going to allow the teams to analyze what's just happened. I mean, uh, we do actually see Lutu said they're probably going to be a bit disheartened right now. You know, we've just lost three rounds in a row in just around seven minutes. So, I mean, that was a bit quick. What have we done wrong and what can we do to improve? And that's going to be, this is going to be their time to reflect on what they've done and really analyze just what they need to do to do better. So, I want to see how 425 maybe have to try, kind of uh, analyze and kind of over analyze against the uh, Lutu set, see if they can kind of counter the counter that Lutu set is going to be trying to make, and we're going to be seeing what happens through that. Uh, I'm still putting my money on a 425 though, they're looking very strong, and I feel like they're going to be able to do a lot more than Lutu set. Yeah, the team synergy uh, is definitely on their side, and um, I can pretty much say surely, I'm not sure, I might be wrong, but still, 425 looks a bit more experienced now on the map than Lutu said, because Lutu said, let's face it, they just all roll out and try to hold the point themselves, but 425, they just push in super aggressive, they rain down havoc from every single side that they can get, they get baited uh, quite a few times, once or twice maybe, but in overall, they still emerge victorious, we're like... Yeah, we are going to be seeing the fourth mid-fight of the game. If you're just joining us, this is Vanilla TV. This is the ESA Open Cup and number three. My name is Hayden. Joining me today is Adok. We have a bunch of unlocks for today. Adok, take it away. Oh, the middle point is going to get contested yet again. Both teams are still punctually under the side. And dang, Yang Pei is going to go up the crates with his buddy here and with the Roman soldier. But now the uh, uh, red team is showing a lot of dominance and aggression. So they might have even learned from the previous round, but it's not sure. Ogne is going to drop dangerously low. And there's Yang Pei taking Sammy out. So there's Smiley Face also dealing quite an amount of damage on the right hand side. He might even go back in a little bit of the Kothi. He is there. Oh, he pulls out the shot. But now a double kill coming out. A triple. So a three simultaneous kills now for Team 425. 
flanks. The scouts doing a fantastic job on the flanks, really. Absolutely amazing. No chance whatsoever left for, left for Luke to say. And the scouts themselves, like Og Ognir and uh, Yang P, exactly, Ognir and Yang P, they're just doing such a, an amazing job. A great scout work overall. And that just shows us how important it is to get a lot of good scout work on the flanks. Yeah, we're going to be able to see a massive 5k mid right now that just allowed 425 just to be able to walk onto that spire right now. And they're just going to be able to walk onto last. We do actually see a few stickies, but it's not going to be enough. They're going to be able to walk out, uh, just make them detonate the stickies and be able to grab the fourth round. And now we're going to be going on to the fifth mid fight. Really, 425, if they keep this up, they're going to be able to take this with ease. Let's go ahead and see what happens this round. Yeah, they, they, they have the rollouts now. Death is still punctual on the point like the other demo, but he's still the first one. So he's going to deploy the stick. He's now on the left hand side. The demo versus demo contention. Now he drops dangerously though, but now the crates advantage. They have the crates advantage. Look at that. But now Lutus said he's going to retake the crates again. They're going to uh, put down a lot of hurt from up there. But uh, are they going to be able to, as they just push them sort of back a little bit? Yangpi doing another uh, frag now for himself. So that is going to be a lot of frags. Overall, Dusty now being forced to retreat a little bit, but uh, he still has 69% on the overcharge. And he's not healing anyone. He is not healing anyone. He just started healing, so that is just gonna put him back 10% in the Uber. And then it's Dicker who's gonna get the upper hand. And if they push it, they might even force the Uber and they might even get a drop. It is not 100% sure, but now a little bit of a skirmish coming down. Rapid up by Ruka. Oh, whatever. Drop! Is. Oh. <laughs> Dicker getting completely spammed out by Santa right there. Very nicely done. And that's going to allow Dusty to be able to grab that 100%. You said maybe we'll see a drop. We did, in fact, see a drop from Dicker. Uh, and that's really going to delay it. But it does actually seem uh, like they're still going to be able to try push under this. 425, they are very weak. They don't have any heals. Just 52 health Yang and 8 health. Yang Pi! Oh, Yang Pi <laughs> gets the medic! Yeah, that was an uh, incredible place. And Dusty goes down. Uh, Dicker is going to be able to start healing much earlier uh, than Dicker is. Uh, or Dicker is going to be able to heal more than Dusty. So that's going to put about 20% advantage in the hands of 425 now. Plus those forwards respawns. It's going to look like uh, Lutus are going to be able to grab that second point right now. Uh, but it does seem like Dicker and the rest of his team should really be able to push in very soon. NKZZ is just going to be trying to peek around the corner right now. But I don't think it's really going to be able to do too much and they are just going to be waiting getting into position and looking ready uh smile face does actually go down lutu set uh Korth does actually manage to take him down nkzz jumping around through to pc taking down dusty right there and uh, that's going to allow a little bit of an advantage or at least a massive advantage for dicker in the uber scenarios and it should look like 425 are going to be able to look into pushing yeah, Ognia is now on to Sniper. Then we see Santina getting one shot, but everybody knows that Ognia is uh, off-classing right now. He does not get a headshot. They're still charging up in the middle point, but now we can see Lutu said they are desperately trying to make plays happen because they know if they lose this round, they lose the game, and they are all in or nothing. And it's Ognia now gets juggled up in here a little bit. He tips out that SMG actually gets an assist by himself. The death is there to take Sammy out with a good... Um, Good pipe their place, so these pills re really be important there. And, and we can see, oh, a lot of spam <laughs> and Santu actually getting him with an old school sticky trap. And oh, Ognia, he gets a shot. He gets a shot, but it was not a kill. Unfortunately for him, he just goes back in. He wants to get the pick onto the demo. Or is he going to be able to just get a pick? No, sorry. He was not, unfortunately for him. But now we can see a lot of pressure now being maintained on the right-hand side. They might even go in for the last push. They might even go in. They have the advantage. They have the time. 70% against 100%. They, they have to. They really have to use it right now. Let's see what Dicker is going to go. It is his call after all. But now he's nobody really to heal. Everybody's just chilling back a little bit. The respawns are back up again. So let's see if any off class whatsoever we've seen a heavy push so a heavy push onto the last point with the running gloves of urgency now that is something i want to see yeah of course this is the last round so let's see if they can make it a spectacular one without 100 it could be a very interesting because it is 100 percent versus 100 percent i just see smiley face getting taken down by sammy right there just a bit of a spam with those rockets through uh the main door right there and that's going to really delay this kind of push but it doesn't look like it's going to affect them too much they are going to be trying to go for a little bit of a back cap trying to get onto that spire but dicker and the rest of 425 are looking to kind of push through this main area as well they're going to be uh, seeing just exactly what they can we're going to be seeing Dicker trying to heal up his scout buddy. Uh, and he does actually get forced 
just a little bit after that. So we're going to be seeing what happens out of this. He's going to be able to grab the Devil Man and grab the Soldier right now. This Uber really isn't going to be able to do anything. Dusty's still going to be able to grab that 100% though. And it, that still hasn't been popped. So we're going to be seeing if Dusty is going to be feeling confident to push out on the second. In case easy did actually go down the heavy. And Yang Pai is, has 10 seconds to respawn. And the entire Bluetooth set is up. So maybe this is going to be the comeback that we're going to be able to see. We have 24 minutes left on the clock. There is still time and it is still possible. So let's see exactly what Lucy said. Try to do, but Dusty gets taken out by a sticky trap from death right there. And uh, Dicker is on 60%. And I mean, it does look very strong for uh, 425 right now. It's 70% Uber, and the sniper is going to be trying to walk onto last. And uh, one thing to notice is that both uh, med uh, medics now now the uh, default medigun, so they do not want to take any unnecessary risks. But oh, it is already too late to analyze that. <laughs> Four twenty-five going five-zero against Lutuset. Who would have thought that? Really, that was that was a pretty fast game. That process is a fast map overall. It is very dynamic. I love to see a lot of process. But wow, I was really not expecting them to go this huge against Lutuset. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it would be a much closer game, but it just kind of seemed uh, like the drops that we saw in this game was something that I didn't expect. I, I don't really expect medics to be able to drop that much. We did actually see quite a few drops, which uh, they're always quite uh, quite interesting to see. But that was a, a very good... I, I do I did enjoy watching uh, Lutus set right there, just kind of in kind of the dire needs and where they were kind of being pushed and pressured from different areas. It did kind of seem like they were trying to kind of go against it and try to do a little bit of work and try to counter it, but it just kind of was enough and now we uh, did add to a C 425 be able to take that five or oh, very quickly two five ball games it's so far but I want to say a big thank you to everybody that's tuned in to vanilla TV don't go anywhere though because we're going to be back just after this short commercial break with a brand spanking new game don't go anywhere this is the ESA Open Cup my name is Hayden joining me today has been Adoc and we'll see you in a few moments